Okay, second part. Had to go and clear up some things because I don't know if the first video I did on this was quite enough and, and I'm not even sure that this video is going to cover everything on the children and religion. I think personally, I think that it's quite a topic that a lot of people should consider when dealing with children uh, and teaching them religion and stuff. Uh, got some notes. Let's see about this. Some of the things I wanted to touch on, uh, I actually talked with my girlfriend about, and she let me know uh, or helped me think of some ideas, things I didn't say. And to tell you the truth, I forgot what it was we talked about sucks but uh let me see uh, she's of a mind that uh whenever your children ask certain things of religion uh that you try to be honest and uh when you answer them kind of like the whole Santa Claus thing you know don't I don't think people should like I said, this is my opinion. <clears throat> I don't think people should lie to their children about Santa Claus. Be honest. Get some information on the whole history of Saint Nick or Santa Claus, what have you. <clears throat> but the same with religion. You want to do that, but there's always the question of uh, at, at what age do you teach your children this? I'm not saying that you go out of your way to do it, but when they ask certain questions. And, and there is another thing that she didn't mention, and that's uh, something everybody should ask themselves. Uh, what information do you hold back from telling them? Because you have to remember, uh, when dealing with social acceptability, uh, they're gonna be presenting this information to their friends and people at school, and I'm talking about young children, uh, depending on how young you teach them, to be anywhere from five years old on up. So they will be telling their friends about it. Uh, sometimes when their friends ask, sometimes they'll just put it out there. And there's a good chance your name will come up. And if it causes quite a bit of disturbance, there's a good chance that, you know, your child's going to get in trouble in school and there's a good chance that there's going to be fights and you're going to have to go to school to explain that and there could be counseling who knows but and you know you gotta think is that something that you want to put your child through uh, i know there are some of us that have problems with that they won't everybody would like everyone else to be able to practice and believe the way they would like uh, without any type of stereotyping or what do you call it? People just being trolls or whatever or hating on them and any form of persecution whatsoever, especially other children. Uh, so, you know, take that into consideration before you teach your children things. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, maybe uh, write down below in, a, in the comments section or make a video yourself or even a video response about uh, ways that you would teach your child or ways that you have already taught your child about religion itself depending on what religion it is uh, and things that you would teach them and that you wouldn't and you know while there isn't much physical persecution these days so much as verbal <clears throat> I have seen you know been a witness to some that were there was a time when I was uh, 17 I was walking to the store uh, early in the morning to make a phone call 
and I had to pass by about halfway there. I had to pass by a what was it? A child daycare, and I had the children out in the yard of the daycare place playing, and uh, and there was three kids that couldn't have been more than six years old chasing this other child around. They pushed him down. And he got up and ran. Pushed him down again, and the little leader leader of the group was like, I can't believe you don't believe in Jesus Christ. You're going to hell. And, you know, I kept walking and stuff, and I can only assume that the child getting pushed down by those three that were chasing him was going to get beat up. And it probably wasn't, didn't have anything to do with him uh, not believing in the Christian way. He probably just put that out there uh, for some reason. And you know how children are doesn't matter your religion or whatever a lot of them will just find a reason to pick on you so you know it could be your name or the way you dress uh, and sometimes it doesn't even have to be that sometimes it's just whether or not people want to accept you uh, they'll find a reason to pick on you so you gotta worry about that uh, whenever teaching your children I think everybody should come up with some type of plan to do that uh, at some point. Uh, maybe even explain to them what it is that you do or what you believe and how you would do that. Uh, let's see what else. I think I might have touched on everything. I guess, in a way, and if I didn't say this before in the other video, I probably did a little bit, but when, whenever your child chooses a religion, and they may not, uh, they may, you know, because like my mother, uh, I didn't find out till I was in my 20s that uh, she wasn't a Christian. And while she did pick up some books about Wicca and uh, read some of them on her own, uh, I still don't know that she's religious. I just know that she, you know, she let me know that she was definitely not Christian, and I think she gave a reason why, and it wasn't nothing important. I didn't, I don't remember it. But you know, whatever your children decide or don't decide, try to think how it was when you were coming into your religion and uh, your fears about how your parents would react and your friends and maybe even how they did react uh, once you let people know and uh, try to put that you know think of that when you think of your children because that's probably what they're going to have to go through too and you know let them know from the start that no matter what they believe uh, you love them and uh, whatever they choose I'm sure is good I'm, I mean, I'm sure the majority of pagans are open minded enough to say that and, uh, I guess that's all I had to say uh, I'm sure my girlfriend would do a better job if she does a video about this uh, there's a lot of good key factors to put in and uh, anybody else who does a video on this I'm sure they'll do a much better job but, so thanks for watching